Hi there, I'm Llewellyn and I'm at Agile 2016 and in the mornings we do mobbing katas and today we were taking a look at the tennis kata from Emily Bach and we had this moment that I wanted to share because it was just a really great example of getting to clean code without understanding. So here you had this method here score and we'd gotten it here and we had no real idea what it did. But there was this interesting thing, which is that for loop has a hard-coded stop at, th at three, which means it only does one and two. So we said, hey, let's unroll that for loop. So we do it once, and then we do it twice. And the first time that we do it, well, then i is going to be equal to one. And the second time that we do it, i is going to be equal to two. And once we do that, we know that i is equal to one, so we know if it's one, this is true, which means the else is no longer needed. And in fact, the if is no longer needed. So now we have this temp score that we just immediately use, so we can just join those. And it's only being used down here, so we can just inline that directly. And in fact, this s is only being used, so we can just inline that directly. And this i being 1 is no longer relevant, so we can get rid of that. Let me declare it down here. Let's give that a format. And in fact, this score now is getting declared and added to, so we can just combine that. And then we have this i equals 2, so that means the if part's no longer relevant, and it's only the else. Let's give that a format. And again, we have this temp score that just gets assigned and used and just initialize it here. And now we can inline it. And then this S is only used here, so we can just inline that. And then the fact that I is two is meaningless here, so we can get rid of that. All right, now we're getting much, much closer, but we're just appending these three things. So let's just append that directly in line. And then this score is only used once, so we'll just inline that. All right, and now I finally understand what this method means. I want to get the first score and put a dash between it and the second score. So this is an example of getting to really clean and clear text while the entire time having no idea what that method does just by following these very simple processes of simplifying the code and trying to get rid of any kind of clutter or redundancy. Hopefully this was interesting to you as well. Thank you very much and have fun refactoring. Hi, are you still around? Maybe you want to check out a longer video on refactoring. Here's one Woody and I did about going through a long piece of code two minutes at a time.